Okay, what you're seeing is a bubble up XBMC casting demonstration. We're in XBMC right now and we're going to click on a CNET cars presentation. And uh, here it is playing over the phone. And it's going to cast to the big screen in uh, just a second. Okay, there it is. That was the demonstration. Uh, what you've just seen was a bubble up demonstration on casting XBMC channels from phone to TV using bubble up NP over Chromecast. What makes this different from previous casting solutions is that bubble up NP can transcode FLVs and other formats on the fly so they will play over the Chromecast. Okay, this is step one to get this working. You have to download a bubble app uh, server. You would click download, uh, you would download the Windows installer here. And that is going to put the Windows server on your computer. Okay. To get this working, I had to change my public host name from default to local host. So I'm not sure uh, what your public host name is, but you're going to need to find that out. And then I just put in my passwords here and check those three areas near the bottom. And I'm going to have to have this running if you want to do any transcoding. Okay, now next we would go to the phone and we would download bubble up NP for your Android phone. So search for it in the Google Play Store. And there's a free version right here and then there's a licensed version for $4.69. With the free uh, app, you only get 20 minutes of transcoding at, at a time. So if you like this, you'll probably want to buy the paid version. So we would just do the free version from for now. We would download it and install it to the phone. Okay. The next step is uh, just I'll go take you into bubble up the program and I only changed a few settings so I'll go over that. The first one I changed go to devices. Uh, your local renderer you don't see it right now but when you do this on your phone you will see Chromecast and that's the one you're going to need to choose and for the libraries you're going to need to choose local media server like I did here Okay, then you would go into settings and go into networks and settings next Here's where you uh, put your network information. Like I would put local host here. Okay, then as far as server address, they're looking for a host and a port. The host would be your public IP address. Go into Google, type in what's my IP, and that, that will be what it is. For the port, it's uh, 58050 or 58051. And you're going to need to go into your router and open a port for 58050. I'm not going to go through that with you because everybody's router is different. But you do need to open that port.
Okay, the next setting we're going to go to is Chromecast. Okay, you would go into transcoding. I, I believe this is already checked, but if it's not, just check. You have to have the, that box checked. Okay. Go, go back into network and settings. And I fooled around with some of these bit rates. Uh, I'm just experimenting right now. I put them. The mobile one I put on maximum 320. Click that circle. I did the same thing uh, with Wi Fi. I put that at 320. Then down a little lower, there's mobile transcoding and Wi Fi transcoding. I put uh, both of those at 720p, which looks like the maximum. So let's get out of there. The next thing we want to do is install XBMC. Uh, it's a custom build. For my phone, I need the Neon touch screen device. You need to download and install that. I'm not sure if uh, any of the other versions work, but I know you do need uh, one that works with external players. So uh, just go into XBMC. I just fooled around with uh, some of the settings in here as well. Go into settings, uh, services next, and then UPnP. All those switches are off when you download it, and I just put them all to on, all three of them. Then I went into web server. I turned that on. I changed the port to uh, 58050 to match the port I opened. I'm not totally positive whether I even had to do this or not, but I did it anyway. Again, uh, usernames and passwords should be filled out. And the last thing you have to do is... Uh, Install a file manager because you're going to need to uh, download a modified Player Core Factory XML file. And uh, this is what it looks like, the file manager. So you're going to need to go into the Play Store, search for file manager. Okay. There it is. You're going to need to download and install this. I've already done it, so there mine is. Now you have to put the follow this path. Android, data, org.xbmc.xbmc, files, dot xbmc user data and you'll see there's the player core factory xml that's where we have to take this one out and replace it with the modified one that we're going to be downloading right now i put a link to it out on mediafire you'll see that in a second All the, all the uh, links I've used in this demonstration, I'm going to put in the description. So this is the player core factory.xml. 
Okay, you see bubble up NP there. Okay, this is the one we're going to download and deposit into that directory that I showed you earlier. So I hope uh, everything goes uh, smooth for you and it works. Take care.